Gamers found their niche this year by pretending to be part of the Social Security Administration, making this the most popular scam yet. Fox 55's Gentil Nil tells us what the Better Business Bureau has to say about the increase in imposters. Identity thieves may claim to be from a well-known company or even a family member, but there's one imposter in particular authorities are warning you about tonight. But just our local office. We have an average of probably five or more phone calls today on the Social Security call scam. The Social Security Administration phone scams have been so popular that the Better Business Bureau has made it the first thing that you hear on their recording when you call them. And then 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you have received a call from Social Security, do not call the number back. So there's a variety of tactics. Uh, in other cases, they'll call in to say there's been fraudulent activity reported on your card. So it's all variations on a theme, but the idea is to get that unwary, unsuspecting person to bite at it and give the information. The Federal Trade Commission says between January and May of this year alone, there were nearly 65,000 reported imposters saying they're from the Social Security Administration. They may say your number is frozen or you're the target of a lawsuit. To make it even more confusing, the Social Security Administration's name shows up on the caller ID. What's happening is the scammers are just spoofing that number. It's not the Social Security office that's actually calling you. So if you get that type of call, even if it looks legitimate, what we would recommend is you hang up and then call the Social Security office. Again, that will be going to the actual Social Security office then, not to the spoofer. Wall says the best thing you can do is look up the numbers to the real agency, call them, see if they're trying to reach you, and ask why. In Fort Wayne, Gentil Nell, Foss 55 News.